Hello viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. Limited. No problem. I've told you I will personally handle it. I will get it monitored. There's no cause for alarm. So, Brother Clemens, how did you manage to get here? In one of my prayer time, I, I, I was praying and the Lord dropped your name in my spirit. I, I, I prayed further to ask God why. And what did the Lord say? It's that precious. We bless God the way God used us then. I bless God for my life. I am the CEO of this company. I consult for many companies. I mean big companies. My husband is in the UK. He's doing well too. We invested in prayers. And the dividend is coming now. And that is what we enjoy by the grace of God. Are you still in the ministry? Yes very much in the ministry. So if I may ask, Sister Precious, are you no more working for God? Are you no more in the ministry? I go to church. I worship my God. I pay my tithes. I give to the needles. <laughs> but Brother Glemme, no time for the way we used to do it. No, no time for that again. In those days, we had so many times to ourselves. 
time to pray, time to play around, time to go to Fiji's, time to fast. Fasting was even becoming a competition among girls. I, I think we should be below 30 years. We were not married. So, no time now. Everybody is busy. Hmm. I understand. This is precious. Yes. I now know why God asked me to come and see you. While I was preparing to come here, Sister Precious, I, I, I stumbled on some of our pictures. Uh, yes, when we were working for the Lord. See, have, to, have a look at this. Have a look at this when we were having our conference. Here. This was when you were ministry and several people came to surrender their life to Jesus. Look at this one. In that, you were preaching about nothing should separate us from the work of God. See this one. This was when you led so many souls to the Lord after the crusade we had in that village. Sister Precious, where are you going to put all of this? This is the hand of God upon your life. You cannot abandon his work just like that. <laughs> like now, look at Sister Yemisi. She's not a bank manager. Where will she get the time? To no run around? To Fiji? No. Bro Lawrence is a medical doctor. So many patients to attend to. Sister Abigail, she's a nurse. She's in the UK with her family. Where will they get time? No time. But the way we used to do it then, no time. We have a career, we have a family, we have our marriage, so many things to attend to. Hmm. God told me that he lifted you up, he raised you, so that you can work for him. But you have abandoned him and his work. Sister Precious, God asks me to tell you that you are now an abandoned vessel. He said he has abandoned you. But you still have opportunity to retrace your steps back to him. Please, retrace your step back to him. As I told you, I'm a busy woman, and there's nothing I can do about it. Please take this is my card. Kindly give me your uh, card details. Let me just show a seed of 500,000 to your ministry. Yes, Sister Precious, uh, that would not be necessary. Uh, uh, God will not allow me to collect anything from you. What? Okay. See you later then. All right. Bye. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. I just want to remind you that you are the reason why I got my direction in life. You practically taught me the way of the Lord. Among many others, please find your way back to your God. Retrace your step back to the Lord. Thank you very much.
Mom, you will read the man. Mommy, we are ready, ma. Mommy, we are ready, ma. Is the day break? Yes, ma. Ah, it's a, a. Please take him to school. The driver will drop you and bring him back in the afternoon. Mm. Mommy, are we not going to play? Oh, may God be with you. Thank you. Mommy, is that all? Yes. Oh, my baby, go, go. The driver will be waiting for you. Right. He will bring you back. That is why I told your daddy to take you to body house. He said you are too small. When others go there, when others are going to body, are they up to your age? At seven years, you can't go to body out. Um, secretary. Yes, sir. Is Madame back? Uh, yes, so the workaholic madam, she's inside. You mean she's still working? <laughs> she's good at working. In fact, she's born with it. Secretary. Yes. Secretary. I'm going now to, you know, I've been working since morning. Hmm? I'll be your guy accountant. To where? <laughs> As Madame, no day now. Nah. I think I'll go enjoy myself small before she's come back. I'll be your guy accountant. For me, she did give it back. <laughs> this woman, she knew the tire. <laughs> she entered a few minutes ago. <laughs> In fact, by 3 p.m., I'm just praying. I should just go home direct. She should allow me to close early. <laughs> because yesterday I closed 8 p.m. in this office. In fact, Anyway, I'm not the secretary. Two hours more. Oh, you got to do drop something for me and get away. Ah, secretary, you with your wahala. Ah. Get late always, every time. You are always busy. Too busy to speak with me. Hello, dearest. I called you yesterday. In fact, I'm very busy now. I am on my way for a presentation and I'm almost late. Can you imagine? You said I should call later, that you are preparing a presentation. Few hours later, I called. You said you wanted to sleep. I should call back. When will you be free? Despite the fact that I do my responsibility as husband. Hmm. Do you think responsibility is on phone? And you think parenting is about dollars? I have my job. I have my career. I keep myself busy with my career. And coupled with the work at home. The children, my work, church activities. And you think parenting is all about that? Have you seen the money I sent? Oh. Please, you have to call me back. The... Commissioner for Finance is calling me. Please call me back. Madam, welcome. I say, make a come greet you. Had the presentation now. Say the work where you will give me. 
I don't finish them. To make a call me too. And the money where you promised me so. I should make a call ask you whether the money done ready. Madam. 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 Ah! Help me up! I got that! They play. What in they play? Mark person. You they follow person. Uh -uh. Fred, your matter don't tire person. Don't tire person. Mark, you know green mark. Uh -uh. Come on, Lily, they play you. 5 0. You see, they there, they follow person Kinsley. up and down. Kinsley. Uh -uh. Kinsley. What happened? What are you doing here? I'm watching ball. Oh, because Madame is not around. He's in the office tonight, so you can do anyhow. Uh -uh. I don't understand. When Madame Day, you won't use work, give me. As Madame no day, now make her no enjoy myself, Abby. Oh. Come on here. Yeah. All this thing you are doing is not even making sense at all. You should you're supposed to be in the office working. Huh? I don't understand. Oh God, come on, Jare. Come on here. Play ball, Jare. Pass ball, pass ball. Ah, oh, I like too much. Five zero. You they play nonsense for feed. If a man abandons God. Such a man becomes an abandoned vessel. Ah, oh, Sister Precious. <laughs> Sister Precious. Sister Precious. <laughs> but why? Why? <sighs> when a man embarks on a journey of no return. Out of God's purpose and plan, the end result is always disastrous. You have been busy. You have busy here and there. You abandoned the work of God. Now that you are hospitalized, Lying down, lifeless. Is the work not going on in your office? Is that precious? The work is going on. Once again, I want to welcome us all to the service of song of our sister, late barrister Mrs. Precious O.O. I wish she returns, but unfortunately, we couldn't have her anymore. So we would like to hear from one of the workers at her place of work. Secretary, please come up. She's so kind, so loving, so caring. Oh, I will definitely miss her a lot. Definitely miss her so much. In fact, God understands. That is all I have to say. I wanted to hear from the neighbors to come and say one or two things about our late. Barrister Mrs. Precious. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Barista, she was my neighbor. We were together in the same community. 
and look at this woman. She was a caring woman. Very loving. Very committed to any work being done in the community. In fact, it is a pity that we miss that of a woman in our community. It is a great pity. This is serious. I would like to call on Mr. Kingsley. Brother, let's hear from you. Praise the Lord. My Oga, she's a very good woman. No? She likes to work very well. She go work for morning the evening. If she says she go give you money, she go give you. She, she likes to give me money, oh. But God know, God understand. I don't miss her like this, as I did tell you. Praise the Lord. We would like to hear from the pastor too. Daddy. Praise the Lord, church. I know how you feel. Because I feel as you feel. But there is nothing we all can do at this moment. Our dear beloved sister, Barista Precious. She was a good woman, very loving. She paid a tithe and offering as at when due. In fact, the drum set you see over there was bought by her single-handedly. She loves contributing immensely towards the development of her church project any time she heard about that. Though she may not be coming to church regularly due to her tight schedule in the office. Hmm. I don't know when we can hide a woman of our nature again in our midst. It's really pathetic, but we just have to take solace in the Lord. It happens. We must all know that the Lord gives and He takes. <laughs> we must know that this will come as you have been one day. Away at this point in time, we just have to comfort ourselves. We just have to rely on the Lord. For we cannot ask God why that's happened at this time. The Lord knows what we don't know. The family and the friends must just console. Don't come by me. Don't come. I don't want to I want to take care of you. My dear, stay young. I want to take care of you. One and another. No amount of women or crying can stop what has really happened at this point in time. Though the loss is so tense and so great, unbearable for us. And none of Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. So let's start of what I said. Let all the families, the friends and colleagues in the office, know that then it has come and that it is at me. Let's see it at the will of God. I was... 
Are you afraid of death? Know that it is real now. <laughs> what was the purpose of your existence when you didn't fulfill God's counsel? Look, don't be deceived by what you heard people say. That is human assessment and their own judgment. But in the record of God, you are an abandoned vessel. You may have good jobs and giving to the poor, but what is God saying about you? Was the purpose of your existence. You refused to, to fulfill the plan and purpose of God for your life. The reason for which you were created. Yes. Didn't you know that you were planted in the vineyard? Yes. To depopulate the kingdom of hell? Yes. For your information, before you were created, it was already known that a number of souls will be won through you. The same thing applied to so many other Christians. Look at that woman. Who you were supposed to have ministered to. Did you do so? Mercy! <laughs> Up to the time she died. The mercy fell on to me. <laughs> and the young boy that was killed as a result of his involvement in occultic practices. He lived very close to your house. Did you minister to him? Even when you were prompted several times by the Holy Spirit, you never did. And many others like that. All you were after was how to make to, to make wealth. <laughs> no. For it is written, what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? You are only after World, 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 world. Let's see. <laughs> the festival ought to be. And we are just. And the souls kept on perishing. <laughs> Don't let me go like this. And we are just. <laughs> mercy and God's favor. Go and write your story. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
to eat on record, not to eat on record, yes, you know who they are. On to eat on me call, on to eat on me call, on to eat on me call, yes, you know who they are. On to eat on me call, on to eat on me call. Jesus, Lord, 